good morning so it's actually the first of december and i'm starting vlogmas do excuse the lighting because it's eight o'clock um, and it's still quite dark outside but i feel very very festive i've got the um fire lit and the christmas tree on and miley's come to give me cuddles so um yeah i'm starting vlogmas truthfully like i haven't vlogged in such a long time so this feels weird speaking to the camera again um because i was so ill last week i just had like a really bad cold and to be honest i'm not 100 percent yet um but i'm really excited to do vlogmas and um the schedule just before i get into the video so the schedule is going to be when i'm off work so i'm actually off this week anyways because i took a holiday um but like my days off i'm going to do a daily vlog which will be uploaded the following day and for the days that i'm at work because i do quite long days um i'm not going to vlog because that would be pointless um so on those days it's going to be a scheduled video which might be like a sit down haul or unboxing or a plan with me something along those lines that can be scheduled ready for those days so that is the plan but i've just come downstairs james is already at work because he's on an early shift and there's one one thing that i've been waiting to do and that is opening the advent calendars so firstly this is one that my mum fills up every single year for me my sister's got one as well we've had it for years got my little name on some little stickers um yeah so she just puts like random chocolates and things in here so this is day one got a cream egg twisted um it has this little snowflake that you can like Put to count in through the days and miley has been playing with it so i'm hoping she doesn't take any of the sweets out but i don't think she would so that's the first thing and my mum has made james one as well and um, which she did last year so that's in the kitchen i also got myself a standard cadbury's dairy milk one and um, i have done like an advent calendar video which is on my channel if you want to um see every one that i bought this year so where is number one again i apologize for the lighting but i feel like it just feels really cozy so i kind of enjoy it let's see there we go number one so i'm just gonna open it up and obviously the days that I'm not vlogging, I'll show what um, is in my advent calendar on Instagram. Um, and then like I'll actually show you um, me using it or something in the next vlog that I do. Ugh, I hate getting these out when I've got only one hand free. Am I going to have to put the camera down? That is the question. No, I'm not. There we go. So we've got a little gingerbread man. Okay, this camera really doesn't look great right now it's got a little hot chocolate on the other side so i've got that and my cadbury's egg and then i've also got this advent calendar which is lumen so it's got skincare and a little bit of beauty in as well i'm honestly so excited about this miley is too um so let's see where number one is it is here i'm gonna have to i think put the calendar on the floor Sorry, Miley, I think I just hit it with that. Um, yeah, so this is number one, which I'm going to pull out. I didn't get, like, a beauty one last year, so this feels even more exciting. So this is the first thing. And, yeah, I'm just going to open it like that. Ignore my hand. I, like, was testing pens <laughs> on my skin. Um, oh, this looks exciting. So we've got the Lumen Nordic Sea Clear Glow Cleansing Gel Scrub. I'm really excited about this um, because I did mention in my advent calendar video, but I've got one Lumen product already, which is the Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence, which is really, really good. So I feel like this is a very similar product, but obviously it's a cleansing scrub. So um, I kind of feel that this might be similar to my Body Shop vitamin c cleanser so we'll see because that is like my current favorite so we'll see how this lives up to it and this might just replace it so yeah can't wait to use that i'm going to use it today as well i'm going to show you me using them as i said obviously the days that i don't vlog like i'll do like a couple um in one vlog if that makes sense but yeah i'm going to use that today i mean i've literally just put it back but yeah i'll show you me using that later so they are my advent calendars james has got similar so he's got like one of these one of those and he's also got um like a special one over there so he will open them later because he obviously is at work 
and of course i couldn't forget about the cats i've got miley and ruby in martha's advent calendar um which looks quite good there is chicken duck and salmon and it's quite big actually it looks very fancy now i've actually ran out of cat food <laughs> i'm hoping it comes today because i did like a bulk order on zoo plus um so they've only got dry food this morning instead of their usual wet so they're probably not very happy so i'm hoping that the advent calendar changes that <laughs> we'll see um so let's see where's number one there miley what's this what's this now my mum and dad's um cat socks she knows the drill like she knows what an advent calendar is she knows how to open it and i'm just trying to work it out there what's this i feel like oh am i gonna struggle i might need to no that's fine what's this oh it's got like little things in miley what's this look this is for you what's this you know like bits of my tree everywhere this this is for you hopefully like a few days in she might actually kind of realize okay let's give it them them were they nice it seems that she really liked them actually because she's quite fussy with food and treats but she scoffed them down so yeah quite happy with that aren't we mummy will have to go and give ruby's hers now hmm <laughs> She's not sure. Hey, look. Considering she was a cat eating out of bins um, a couple of months ago, she's not sure. But usually she'll actually leave treats and come back to them. So I'll probably just dot them around the house upstairs for her to eat later. Um, but yeah, she's just chilling out on the stairs at the minute. She's probably feeling a bit confused because she hasn't had breakfast. Have you? Huh? Mummy's just trying to give you some treats instead. And you're not having any of it, are you? No. Obviously, I mentioned earlier that we're waiting for a food delivery. Um, now, Miley is really fussy. She only eats the Purina Gourmet Go Pate. Um, and Ruby pretty much eats or ate anything. Um, I mean, obviously, she couldn't really complain because, as I said, she was eating out of bins a few months ago. So she'd have, like, whiskers and just, like, cheaper brands as well. Um, but now, she's started to leave the food, apart from when it's the pate that Miley gets, which she scoffs down instantly. So I'm thinking, are you serious? Like, I don't know if she's just, like... I prefer this one. I don't know why you keep giving me the other one because I want this expensive luxury one. Um, or if she's just got bored with the other one. But I thought, do you know what? Um, I worked it out and it wasn't overly expensive, I'd say, to get um, like a bulk order for both of them. So I think I've got like 144 tins coming that'll last me like 36 days. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to give them both that. And to be honest, obviously with it being more expensive, I kind of feel like it might be better. I don't know. I mean, we'll see um, what she thinks. But obviously, like, for me and James, like, we just got Aldi and Lidl and stuff. Like, we're not bothered. Um, but, like, if we um, had food like what the cats are having, I suppose it'd be like us going to Marks and Spencer's or Waitrose. <laughs> So I'm just about to make myself a cup of coffee and I thought I would show you my new mug from Home Bargains, which is so cute. Like, how nice is this? 
um i actually seen i don't know if it was maybe brummy and mummy of two um i think she showed it and i thought it was amazing and when i seen it i just couldn't resist um it's got a little hot chocolate mix and some socks so it'd make like a really nice like secret santa gift i might go back to maybe get another one um but this one's just for me because i absolutely loved the design of the mug i'm not gonna have a cho hot chocolate because it is morning and i am in desperate need of coffee um but james will probably have this i don't have hot chocolates as often as he does so i'll let him have that um and then i'll just pop the little fluffy socks in my drawer but yeah i just wanted to show you the little mug <laughs> So I just made myself some breakfast. I'm going to watch the rest of the Suits episode that I was watching last night. Um, I do also want to watch a Christmas film today and possibly watch one every time I'm off in December. Um, I know that there's like a few lists going around of like, um, you know, like a movie to watch every single day. But I don't think I'd have like time to do them when I'm working. Um, but every day I'm off, I'm going to try. So I'm going to watch one later. Um, James gets back about four. So I think I might start watching it about two-ish because it definitely won't be something he wants to watch because i think i'm going to watch um you know like one of the cheesy rom-com ones that are on netflix uh, but yeah i'm just going to finish this have some breakfast and then i think i'm going to start tidying the house because it is honestly a mess like when i was ill i obviously didn't clean anything because i was just so ill so there's a lot to do <laughs> okay so <laughs> just filmed this once and then had to run down to get the doll thinking it was the cat food and it wasn't but anyways um i've come into the bathroom to do my skincare and get ready so i thought obviously i would test and review the uh, product that i got in the advent calendar this morning um so as i said it does look very similar to my current favorite which is the vitamin c daily glow cleansing polish i'm really excited to give it a go and um, the texture looks quite similar so i'm just going to pop a little bit on my fingers i've also got the cats uh, on the landing next to me so i'm hoping they don't start fighting while i'm doing this because i will not be able to chase them so yeah i'm just gonna add this to my skin and start to rub it into circles it feels very similar to the vitamin c one from the body shop i'd say it's a little bit less rough which obviously isn't like a bad thing and it does smell quite citrusy as well so i really like that i'm just gonna get a bit of water to rub that in so i mean yeah um first impressions are good because obviously this is the kind of cleanser that i love um ones that are a little bit gritty um because obviously they exfoliate the skin and i feel like my skin's really really clean and soft afterwards and it obviously smells great as well so yeah first first impressions can you speak first impressions good just gonna clean it off with flannel but like i need to get some new flannels because these are not looking so white anymore <laughs> um but yeah i thought i would just share this little snippet of my skincare obviously uh, with me getting that this morning and i'll probably do this kind of thing every day with the products that i get other than when I'm at work, I'll probably, um, I'll still open the calendar, but I'll probably wait to use it when I'm off. So, yeah. And my skin does feel really clean and soft, so that's good. So, yeah, I'm just going to start um, to get ready for the day. I'm probably just going to spend um, the first part of my day just cleaning, as I said. Um, so, nothing too interesting. Um, but, yeah, I'll check in with you soon. So I've decided to clean the spare room first because the rest of the house isn't too bad. Um, but when we took Ruby in, we used Miley's old litter tray that she came to us with. Um, it's just like a simple tray and the litter has been going everywhere. And it started to smell because of the type of litter we've started using, which is like the wooden stuff. So we went and got um, one of the big 
litter trays from Petal Home, um, which is what Miley has. So I've got another one of those um, for Ruby. We thought by now she'd be downstairs, but she's not. So yeah, I'm going to focus on cleaning this room. Um, the bed is a mess because it's got loads of stuff on, but obviously it's got my summer duvet on. Um, so I'm going to give the room like a good clean and then I'm going to put my Christmas duvet on the bed. And if I can manage, I'm going to switch the room around because at the minute we've got a TV on the unit there the bed there and then we've got like a desk and things at the other side but at the minute where the tv is there's actually no plugs on the wall um so it's not really used but i'm getting james the new xbox for christmas um so i'm thinking of putting his old one up here um, and then it's just there if i which would be rare ever want to play with him then i could play upstairs or let's say I had friends around and we were in the living room or something like that. Like sometimes Jess comes around and we watch movies. So in that case, obviously if James wanted to play, he could come up and he's got obviously them different areas. So yeah, that's the plan. I was doing so well with the cleaning. And then, oh my God, I was taking the old sheets off the bed and there's a massive spider on it. Like it's dead, but it is literally the big i'm so itchy the biggest spider i've seen in this house and i mean it is curled up dead but i literally i screamed like i'm itchy my stomach hurts i feel sick this is like the worst i've been affected by a spider i think ever <sighs> oh my god honestly so <laughs> i don't know what to do I've given up. Um, I did end up hoovering and changing the litter tray over. I've brought down her food bowls as well to give them a clean. But I just physically cannot go near that spider, even to hoover it up. Like, my biggest fear is spiders. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to wait till James gets home to help me. Um, so instead, I'm going to do the washing up, clean the kitchen. Then I think I'm going to sit on my laptop for a little bit and look for Christmas presents and then watch a Christmas film. So I've just put on some jeans and my coat because I'm going to go to Aldi with my mum. Um, I do need a few bits so I thought I'd go with that and we're going to ask James to go to Asda or Tesco on the way home to get some cat food because it's still not arrived. I've opened the door twice today <laughs> thinking it was the delivery and it was not but never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and get a few bits. Um, I've had to pause my Christmas films. I'm hoping James will let me finish it. Um later on i also love looking at all of the like random stuff in aldi so i'll definitely probably be tempted by a lot of the christmas stuff but i'm gonna try and refrain from buying everything So I thought I would do a little um, food shop haul just to show you what I got. I did like a main food shop the other day. So these are just like a few extra bits that we needed. So I've got a milk, orange juice, some crackers. I've got some sour cream and chive dip because we're going to do for heaters in a couple of days. Um, some pop drums because I've also got stuff to make curry. Some of these like fake um, mini cheddars. Um, I've got some chocolate mousses, which I literally got last time, but we've already nearly ate them all. Some tasty sticks for the cats. Miley's coming to inspect. She jumped on the table. And I've got a sliced tiger uh, loaf, which I thought looked quite nice. Um, I've also got some chicken nuggets there just for James like when he's been at work. Some more dreamies because we, again, eat them very quickly. <laughs> um, I've run out of stuff for washing, so I've got some personal three-in-one capsules and then also the comfort pure um fabric softener i then saw these so aldi are doing these like light up gin bottles um and max and spencer's did like pretty much the exact same last year so i thought i'd grab one of those they were like maybe like 13 pounds something like that and um, so that's blackberry gin liquor so 
that would just obviously do for somebody's Christmas present so I don't know who yet but I thought that was quite nice I thought while I saw it I'd pick it up because the ones in Max Spencer's went really really quick last year and um, so I've got that and then also I've seen that they had some duvet covers in and so I've got this one in a king size which looks like this so it's like a little winter christmas scenery we've got like cars and houses and people skiing so i just thought that was cute i did want one from donnell which was like 36 pound but this was literally like 11.99 so i thought do you know what i'll just get this <laughs> um instead so yeah i'm probably gonna pop that on the bed tomorrow but that's everything that i've got and james has got cat food so i'm now gonna feed the cats do you want your tea do you want your tea do you know, this is funny because it reminds me once I had something like this that had cheese on and Miley bit it through the plastic and ate all the cheese off the top of it. This was like when we first got her, she went through like a phase for like a week or so where she literally wanted to eat everything. And whenever I poured milk in a cup, she literally stuck her head in the cup, <laughs> which is really funny, but I'm glad she's not like that anymore. Hmm, I wonder where Miley's gone. Miley! <laughs> Where have you gone? What are you doing? Crazy animal. So I'm just going to finish putting the shopping away. I've then got a few things to do on my laptop and then I'm going to make a start on tea. Uh, we're having chilli con carne with rice um, and we're probably just going to watch TV for the evening. So excuse the lighting, um, I'm sat in the living room, got the tree light on, the fireplace on, um, James just gone to the shop and he is going to come back and play Xbox, so I'm going to sit on my laptop and have a look for Christmas ideas, I've got a little spreadsheet so I know um, anything that I buy I can put on there and the prices to keep myself right, so I'm going to have a little look and... I haven't finished the rest of the Christmas film I was watching. Um, so after that, I'm just going to sit and watch that on my laptop while Jim's on Xbox and have a cup of tea. Strong arm the donors and get them. Oh my God. Them. They wouldn't contact me. Lewis, now's not a good time. Well, that's where you're wrong, my friend, because it's always a good time. 